Live from Houston, Texas, it's The Cube. Covering Grace Hopper's celebration of women in computing. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of the Grace Hopper Conference here in Houston, Texas. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. Today we have joining us Anitu Jain, a product manager at IBM, and Daniela Dorniano, a software developer and trainer at Appway. Thank you so much for, for joining me. Thank, Thank you, you so much, calling. Rebecca, for, for inviting us. And both of you have stepped away from a hackathon that is taking place here at the Grace Hopper. What's happening? What's going on? What are you hacking? <laughs> It's a lot of energy up there. Uh, you should come see it. Um, a bunch of uh, 300 people are upstairs. They are coding live right now. They're actually now uh, getting to uh, um, the wrap up of their projects. Uh, they've been doing that all morning. They started very early at eight. Uh, they are all coding for open source for humanitarian purpose. Okay, so a bunch, a bunch of humanitarian problems. Nitu, yes. set yeah. the stage for us. What are the problems we're trying to solve? Sure, so we basically called all organizations we know who are passionate about open source pro using open source project for humanitarian causes. Like we have Cloudera participa participating with us. Uh, they are working on a project called Thorn, which uh, tries to identify um, traffic victims, human traffic victims, uh, using data science on chatbots. Uh, they try to analyze the chatting data on the dark web and uh, you know, make pat match some patterns and try to identify there are pictures posted and there is communication posted, uh, transfer of them posted. So they are trying to identify you know, there could be human trafficking taking place and you know, interject and give that data to the relevant people. Then there is another project with Microsoft, which is Microsoft Disaster Response, where they are creating open source tool to be able to use in disaster recovery situations to locate people, to help them to rehabilitation, et cetera. Um, then we have another project in, uh, with Women P2P where they are trying to solve the problem of empowering women, uh, and many of them are illiterate women, uh, to give them a voice. Uh, for example, give them a voting software uh, v through mobiles. Um, or give them a communication medium without using the radio, because in South Africa and Kenya, uh, radio centers are controlled by men, which sort of controls the voices of women. They cannot say something which they do not like. So they are trying to come up with an ingenious way of using repeaters to provide them a shadow network to communicate to each other. These are some of the examples of the projects, and we have more, I can go on. So, so this is using open source to, to save the world, or to, to, to solve some of the world's most pressing problems. Obviously, we, we, want, we want these things to be successful. The, the goal is to solve these problems. Yes, exactly. It's, not, it's unlikely to happen in three hours. So, um, yeah. so these projects, they are not finishing here, you know? Okay. Uh, these are open source projects. Everything people are going to code today is going to be up online for future people, for future, for future people. Contribu contributors. And these projects are actually going from a hackathon and they are gathering a community through, the, through, our, through this one of these hackathons. And then they are building up and people are finding out about the project and they contribute more and more and then you know, this is how you think save the world. It, yeah, think of it like the entry to the door, you know. We want to introduce uh, these projects to uh, other people who don't know about it. We want to encourage the first uh, newcomers to open source. And we want to basically dazzle them with the power of open source, like what, can, what real life changes you can make, right? And then it's not like in today you're going to solve this problem, it's not a hackathon. It's like, how do you get a, to go about it? How, how are we tackling it? Make you feel safe and welcome? In the, many of the codeathons, they don't feel welcome. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you about in the sense of, here we are at Grace Hopper, uh, a celebration of women in computing. Most of the, the coders up there, the hackers up there are women. Yeah. How is that different from other hackathons well, and Well, for, for some of these people today, this is going to be a, a life-changing event. They are coming and coding for the first time in a hackathon. 
uh, need to yours telling me that. Yeah, a, a girl walked me up uh, and said, th thanks a lot for organizing this. She actually works at Microsoft and she's a master's in computer science. But what she said was, I've never felt comfortable going to the hackathons because I've always felt shy and the imposter syndrome that I'm not good enough. And I felt comfortable here and I'm learning so much that I'll have the confidence next time to walk in into another hackathon where uh, there are all kinds of people, not only women, but she f it's a good first start for her, you know, and she feels safe and welcomed and she knows this community, you know, so she mo feels more comfortable here. And so I, wanna, I wanna ask about the, the energy and the vibe of the room too, because research shows that it, things like collaboration, communication, those tend to be skills that, that women cultivate, uh, perhaps maybe better than men do. <laughs> um, so talk about what it's like, because we know that coding is actually a very social activity. Yes. What's it like up there? Yes, so hackathons usually you know, involve a lot of collaboration. You can't achieve much on, in a few hours unless you, you, know, you talk about it. When you have a problem, you cannot allow yourself three hours to, to solve it yourself. So collaboration is a very important key factor in, in the hackathon. So you, know, you walk up in the room and you see everyone is moving, they are going, if you have a problem, they are moving sticks around if they need a particular software. And they feel very comfortable doing that in this environment. So this is a great start for many women that you know, maybe before they didn't have the courage to go and try that in a, in a men you know, in a man environment, only men environment. Mm -hmm. Now they feel, have their first experience, you know, they will feel much more comfortable now going into you know, all the other hackathons and feel the, the, same, you know, the same energy, the same power, and the and same uh, power to go and ask whenever they have an issue. I want to add to the energy. So I mentored, I was an Open Source Day mentor last year and I saw this woman who's, a, who's actually a professor, you know, uh, Michelle, and uh, she was struggling with Git and I helped her with Git. And uh, this year she came up to the Open Source Hackathon and she thanked me for teaching her Git. And she's teaching Git now in her university and now she's teaching Git upstairs in the Hackathon, you know, with confidence. So that is the, the willingness to help you know, and well, really that, I was going to ask that. Yes. I mean, for for those of us who've never been to a hackathon, exactly, um, is it competitive or or is it's it not? That's why it's very collaborative. And I I have been. It's the attitude is I've been there. I know exactly what you're going through. What you're going through is basically just you need to do it once, and you will never feel it again. <laughs> you know, and I'll help you get through that blocker. That that is the vibe, <laughs> you know. Great. Maybe the competition comes afterwards. You know, what are you gonna do with what you have acquired? You know, with with the Git knowledge that you have acquired, are you gonna use it? And then next year, you feel like you have a feeling of achievement. You come back, you know, you you can say, yeah, you know, you can discuss, and, and you give back what you've learned. And, th and that's maybe uh, a self-achievement competition with you know with yourself, with you know sharing what you have learned. It's sort of what like GHC and ABI <laughs> stand for. We're all here to basically pass it on, you know. We have been students, we have, be, we have interviewed, students have interviewed here, they have come back to interview on these boots. <laughs> and it's you a know? metaphor for the hackathon, which you're starting these projects exactly. and then launching them into the world. Exactly. Great. Neetu, Daniela, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much, thank Rebecca, you for, for the <laughs> invitation. This is Rebecca Knight at the Grace Hopper Conference here in Houston, Texas, live with theCUBE. We'll be back after this. Was there a